So left hand one was kind of the before with that grip. You can just see where your thumb is on the left hand image there, round to the side, palms kind of facing up, puts your right wrist in a sort of bowed position like that. Yeah, so the thumb now you can see, you said off the side there, not working, whereas now the thumb's a bit more on top. Your right hand and the left hand are kind of working as one. Yeah. And when you had your right hand on the club in that position, your wrist could function correctly, okay? So doing that drill we said with the one hand, just stood at home there, just swinging that club. So the club goes back now and we swing it back this way, you can see the right wrist now is hinging up, as you'd want to try and get. Yeah. And as we then come through, we need to practice. If you look at this position here now, so you, I'd say your palm is facing up to the sky. If both palms are sort of twisted through correctly, yeah. you would see kind of more this way. What we see is yeah. that. And that's you swinging the club with your right hand trying to do this. Always want to sort of push it to target rather than this kind of release of that golf club, okay? And that's what we're going to try and create more, okay? The other thing with this swing here now on the left-hand side as we come back down, back swing wise is okay, good shoulder turn, good full length of swing. You watch your right foot now as you come back down. Your right foot there is kind of independently moving. That doesn't need to move there. The right foot would move as a result of the body, obviously, rotating around there and then the right foot sort of comes with it but your right foot now impact is almost up on its tiptoe there so now you've lost a lot of stability as you hit it this was a better impact because your right foot now is more on the ground you see yeah yeah so you've got more of a base to swing from and therefore you can swing faster some of the reasons why we lose speed through lack of confidence tension lack of stability if you're falling over or losing balance you can't swing fast, can you? Because you're going to fall over by any speed and losing balance all over the place. So getting yourself in a position where we can actually swing with that speed will obviously help. But right hand grip for me is going to be the key thing. Get that right hand angled this way rather than sort of bowing out with the right wrist. And again, at home, as we said, we know we've got limited time. If you're not work for the next six weeks, you as you said, you're doing the invigilating. Even if it's dashed, it may sound. If you go there to the do the invigilating, okay, I'm sure you're going to arrive there. If you say a one o'clock exam, you'll be there at half twelve. Have a club in the car and just stand up. <laughs> just, just, just get just as much yeah. you can. There'll be a time when you have a little break somewhere. You go to the side for two seconds. Just hold that club and a few swings it. Just so you get more comfortable. As we said, you did that for like three and a half minutes, that move on the right hand side with that one hand swing. And it became quite a familiar movement after all. It seemed a lot more natural. The first time was the right wrist trying to bend and the palm when you came through here was kind of facing up to the sky in that direction. What we'd expect at this point here now with the arm here is the club to be up there as you just sort of hinge and unhinge your wrists. Yeah. So you're getting a better movement there with the wrist rather than that pushing through with the hands there. Because that's going to be very weak. This kind of motion here now isn't going to get much power, whereas that will create some power. And I think if there's any tension, grip, guidance with the club, all of the above hits the ball shorter. And we said before, direction is not a problem for you, the ball's fairly straight. It's just yeah. getting that ball out there to go over 100 plus rather than 50, 60, 70. So, makes sense? It does make a lot Good. Of sense, yeah. And like I say, if you can just have a few swings there with just the one-handed club, just learn what your right hand needs to do. If you could do that, I don't know, just put numbers in four times a day for three minutes. 12 minutes of a day. I'm sure we could fit 12 minutes. You just like, yeah. put the kettle on. Couple of minutes, in the kitchen, do that there, okay? You know how you have a goal could go in, like a rolling pin or a whatever in your yeah. frying pan, for example. Just get that feeling of how that's going to work around there. An actual fact, daft may sound, frying pan's actually quite good. I've done it before with someone. Where you look at the frying, if you look at the frying pan, if that was kind of the frying pan flat there, so you start here now, it'd be there, and that way, what you would do is kind of, yeah, so you'd see yeah. the big face of the frying pan a lot easier in some way. So, although you might be thinking, what are you doing, Dad? You're doing a bit strange. <laughs> you no, There's no pancakes in there, what are you doing? But yeah, it'll give you, if the frying pan was sort of aiming to your target, yeah. it now aims to the wall, the wall behind you. What you would do is aim the wall and push it through. So yes, give yourself as much time as you can to get that feeling, and we can get that club face, get some speed. Okay. Okay. I think there's less need to panic now in terms of lack of time going forward. If you've got the invigilations of GCSEs and the exams, we can still get some work done without going to drive. Spend three or four times a day for a couple of minutes just doing some movements as best you can. Suddenly that'll start feeling more familiar. The more you do it, your arms just naturally want to start doing this rather than mm, that twist. Okay. Okay. Good man. Thank you very much. Well done. Cheers, Paul. All the best of me. Right.